Hello there everyone, this is Joy. Welcome back to another Inspiration Friday video with my friend Fleur. Today I'm going to be sharing the process of creating some holiday cards and I'm using some fresco paints. They dry matte and have a bit of texture to them once they dry. I have four colorways here and I'm going to be creating my own background papers. I was going to be showing you how I set up my Project Life album for the month of December, but the papers that I wanted to use haven't arrived, so I'm switching gears and just going ahead and making some mixed media style holiday cards. I also have out my modeling paste, which I'm going to use with some stencils. I have a brayer, an old gift card, a spatula, some stickers from Tim Holtz, some stamps that I don't end up using, which I will try to edit out so you don't see those. And the papers that I'm using are today are some Bristol Smooth cardstock, watercolor paper, this tissue paper which I don't end up using, and several sheets of these uh, music note paper that are holiday inspired as well. I'm going to put on some music and put the video into fast forward so you can see how I create the backgrounds for these cards. I'm going to be making seven cards in total so I'm going to catch you back once I'm at the stage where I'm going to put the cards together. Enjoy!
Okay, let's take a look at all of these little pattern paper swatches that I've made. These are all going to be the card fronts for the A2 size cards that I'm creating. A2 is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. I'm actually going to cut down all the papers to a four by five and a quarter inch. So I end up having a nice border around each of the panels. I'm going to cut them down now. I'm not going to make you watch that. So let's jump forward to see the ideas that I came up with for these holiday cards. I ended up with quite a few card fronts after I had everything cut down, 17 in total. I'm not going to be using all of those in this video. I'm only going to use seven of them and I'm going to put the video back and fast forward and show you the process of a few of them and then show you the ideas that I came up with for the seven cards and then assemble everything and then show you the final outcome. So let's put the video back and fast forward and I will catch you back in a little while. Let's take a look at some of the card designs that I came up with. I used a combination of die cuts from the Oh What Fun collection by My Mind's Eye and some metal dies for the sentiments from Concord and Ninth. I did use foam tape to bump up the die cut images to give them a little bit of added dimension. I wanted to say thank you for spending some time with me today and be sure to check out Fleur's YouTube channel by using the link in the description box to see how she was inspired by the holidays for this month's project. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more photos of the cards and I will see you next time. Take care.